This is Chris, the Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get a quality finish on your ceilings using an airless sprayer, so stay tuned for this video. All right, here we go. I'm upstairs, I've got a bedroom right here I'm gonna be doing. I've got another bedroom, a hallway, and a bathroom. And I've got multiple options I can choose when it comes to painting my ceilings. I can hand roll them, dip it in a bucket or in a pan, and roll in the ceilings with an extension pole. I can use an airless sprayer with like a Titan Interfed roller attachment attached to it and that's the airless sprayer is going to feed uh, paint to the roller itself so I don't have to hand dip or I can use an airless sprayer. Now if I got multiple rooms, I'm going to choose an airless sprayer most of the time because it's going to be three to four times faster than the other methods. The hand dipping and rolling, if I just have one bedroom, I'm probably just going to bring up a five gallon bucket and, or a pan and just roll those ceilings. It's going to take multiple coats. An airless sprayer is going to take one coat and you're done. So prior to spraying the ceilings, I've got to do some masking. I've got I've got some vents up here. I can choose to mask them off or remove them. That one, there's you know just a few screws and you can remove them. I've got some light fixtures to mask around, maybe some alarm fixtures to mask around, and that's about it. It's typically just as fast to mask those things off as it is to hand cut around them if you were hand rolling and stuff. So it's very quick and easy to do. Um, I've got to lay drop cloths down and I got to cover the beds. I got a bed here. I've got some other furniture I got to cover with plastic. I'm going to try to get most of the stuff into the closet and get it out of the way. And I use nine by 400 plastic instead of like drop cloths, which are really heavy. They can knock things over. They can break plants. Um, and it's just a lot more risky to cover things with drop cloths. The so drop cloths are used for the floor only, nine by 400 plastic for everything else. All right, so let's talk about the spraying of the ceilings. I, I got a doorway right here and a window right here. When I'm standing in the doorway, I want my spray pattern to go across the direction that I'm looking into the room. So very simple, I'm looking into the room, don't spray in the direction I'm looking, spray in a cross um, direction of how you look into the room. So when it comes to the tip you choose, uh, Titan HEA tips are the best tips you can spray ceilings with. One of the most common problems and frustrations with people is seeing lap marks on ceilings and lap marks are caused by hard edges, tailing or fingering and Titan HEA tips give a really nice feathered edge and they run at very low pressures. They run at 800 to 1000 PSI at the gun. You can get a Titan HEA tip or um, a Titan HEA gauge, put that on the gun and that will tell you the exact pressure you're running at the gun which is very critical when you're using those tips to have it at low pressure or you won't get that nice feathered edge. Paints are another thing that will cause you a lot of frustration when it comes to painting ceilings. I I know uh, recently over the last two years we've been struggling with getting a quality interior ceiling paint that doesn't splatter, that covers well and touches up well. And the paint that we used to use, it's been reformulated multiple times and it's no longer a quality product. We really don't like it anymore. And I've been trying a lot of different products. Today I'm going to be trying this product from Glidden. Hopefully it is gonna be a good product for us, but you want something when you're spraying that covers really well. You don't want something when you're spraying that's gonna have a lot of fallout on you. When you're looking up, you'll just feel it raining down on you. So a good quality air or a good quality ceiling paint that's designed to spray if you're spraying is something uh, you wanna be looking for. If you get glare on your ceilings, you can't really see the true color of your ceilings. I personally, uh, my preference is pure white ceilings and flat paint. If you have any type of sheen on your ceilings, whether it's eggshell, satin, semi-gloss, you're gonna get a lot of glare on those ceilings. And once again, these ceilings are a Sun Valley texture. If you have a, a texture up there where the, the texture guys didn't do a very good job or you have multiple patches on the ceiling, a flat paint is gonna have a tendency to hide that a lot better than uh, say a satin paint. The higher the sheen, the more imperfections you're gonna see on a ceiling, so choose a flat paint. All right, so I'm getting ready to spray now. I wanna make sure you have a respirator when you're spraying. I got my airless sprayer gun uh, hooked up. I got two extensions, so I don't have to do any reaching. I had a 619 HEA tip, got it set up. I tested the pressure at the gun. It's running right around 900 PSI, and we're, once again, we're testing out a product from Glidden, so I don't have any experience with this product, and we're gonna see how it performs, so here we go. So my first thought already spraying it, 
it's covering really well. It's going on heavy. Um, I do feel um, some product kind of, you know, um, coming down on me. It's uh, getting a ton of kickback on the sprayer itself. So, um, you know, even at this lower pressure. So I'm going to continue spraying though and um, move right along here. So I'm able to the bed. I can't, you know, walk the distance right here on the bed. So um, I'm kind of just, you know, over, when I'm making my lap marks, I'm just turning over really quickly so I don't get a heavy spot, you know, right there. I'm getting it on really thick. I'm not, I'm releasing the trigger a little bit because I'm only running, I'm running a Titan 440 impact and it's a pretty big tip. If I hold the, the trigger down this entire time and spray, the pressure is starting to drop too low. And so I'm releasing my trigger sometimes to allow the pressure to build back up. All right, so we've got our first room up there sprayed. And um, man, I felt like I had paint raining down on me. So we are switching out to um, PPG's best. I haven't used this one either. It's Ultra Hide Zero. Um, and I was told by the PPG rep that this is the best. And she even rated it the number one out of the three that I got from them. So some of you may be wondering why I'm just not using the paint I always use. And here I am making, you know, a how-to video on you know, how to paint ceilings and, and not using the paint I always use. Well, you can say, I think I talked about it earlier, possibly in the video, but the paints, um, because of environmental reg regulations, paint formulations have changed significantly over the last couple years. And one of them, um, ceiling paints, is changed in a bad way for all the ceiling paints that we've typically used. and none of them perform um, very well. So, you know, this is a good opportunity to right here in a how-to video, you know, test some more products and try to find something that does perform really well spraying. So, um, once again, it's kind of kind of cool, kind of fun. So I'm gonna spray the bathroom now and I've loaded up the new, the PPG paint now. So we're gonna see how that performs. And I'm gonna spray this going this direction because I'll be looking into this bathroom this way. So I don't want to spray it this direction. Otherwise, I might uh, see lap marks if I was at using the right tip or I was having fingering or any type of issues uh, spraying. So I'm gonna be spraying it this direction. And I'm not concerned about the doors getting um, you know dust on them and stuff like that because that's another project. We're gonna be repainting all these doors. So um, otherwise, if I, I was not painting these doors, I don't want to drape plastic over the top of them. But um, gonna be re repainting them the same color with a different product and a higher sheen, so they'll be a little bit more durable. Here we go. Once again, uh, use a respirator. So I got done spraying, I'm starting to pull the plastic. Just gotta be careful when you pull the plastic just to lightly roll it up. You know, one of the drawbacks to do using an airless sprayer versus say like a pressure roller or interfed roller is the dust that's created by airless spraying. And the airless spraying, you know, no matter what you do, uh, you're gonna create dust, whether you're spraying trim, walls or ceilings. When spraying ceilings, you just create more because you just have a lot of stuff hitting the ceiling and then you're getting kicked back coming down and it is just dust. We're just gonna lightly roll up all of our plastic and I don't want to just like get carried away and just like um, rolling up really hard and fast because all the dust that's clinging to the um, plastic because of the static it'll just kind of go poof and just go up in the air so I just start lightly rolling it up when we're done at the end of our day our projects when we do any type of spraying we always um, we always you know mop the floors vacuum floors and wipe down any furniture too so I'm just gonna get this lightly like this, I kind of just roll it up and then I'm not going to try to stuff it in a bag or anything. I'm just going to take that and I'm going to carry that outside and then I'll stuff it into a garbage bag then and um, all that dust that's clinging to this plastic, it'll just go right out with me. So I did test multiple products too. I tested that Glidden product right here and then I tested the PPG in the hallway, bathroom and um, in the other bedroom. And one of the interesting things was I was running really low pressure um, so between about 900 PSI spraying in here. So I had to turn my, uh, my pressure up a lot higher using the PPG product to um, keep the edges from fingering or tailing. And at the same pressure, uh, it was dropping so low, I was getting tailing and fingering really bad, cranked the pressure up to 
um, around 2200 psi and that's at the pump but i am running you know um, quite a bit of hose uh, i think um, 100 feet or more of hose i'm not exact i had two hoses on long hoses i think they're 50 foot hoses so i'd be 100 100 feet and um so the pressure was probably about 600 psi lower at the gun didn't have a gauge at the gun so i would say it's probably running around 1400 psi uh at the the gun itself so i had to just fool around with it a little bit and every product as you can see every product is different you're just gonna have to test the product you're using um and see how it performs so um we're gonna let the ceilings dry we're gonna be painting our walls here uh coming up pretty soon and you'll see what it looks like the final project okay the ceilings are all done complete now they're sprayed they're dried we're back the next day and what's you know, really interesting the room that i'm in right now was the ceiling that i sprayed with the glidden product that wasn't even designed to spray so on the back of the instructions there's nothing about spraying on it i contacted um, the rep on the product and it was never designed to spray at all what's interesting is it actually sprayed out really really well when I sprayed it, I had a lot of fallout coming down on me. It's probably part of the reason why it wasn't designed to spray. But after all the fallout, after it dried out, it looked absolutely amazing. There's no lap marks. It covered really, really well. The other product in the other rooms, what was amazing about that product too, it sprayed completely differently. It fingered really bad, but the fingering, I thought, in the bathroom was gonna show up really bad. Everything dried out, it looked absolutely amazing. You can't see any lap marks, it covered really well. The product in there, um, and that was the PPG product, it didn't have nearly as much fallout, but as what was interesting is in here, this product didn't finger, that product in there did finger, but both of them dried out extremely well, completely flat, no lap marks, and 100% coverage. After spraying it one time, they were both covered 100%. So both products actually performed very well. You would have to, this product have everything covered 100% when you're spraying, spraying ceilings in general, you're gonna have to have everything covered 100% anyways. It just, when I was spraying, looking up, just felt like I was getting a lot of product coming down on top of me. So there you have it, two products that we sprayed, one from PBG, one from Glidden. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, hit the subscribe button, hit the little notification bell right next to it. That way you get notified every time I come out with a new video. It's free, simple, easy to do. Hit it, slam it, bang it do whatever, just hit them, click them both. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, we've got really cool tips and tricks there too. Really short ones, really cool uh, pictures of what the heck we're doing out there. Go check us out. Anyways, we'll see you on our next video. Out. <laughs>